on top of the try line itself. Here's Walker, grabbing a chance, Radley reaches out. Walker, once again, that magical left boot rolls in the grubber. Real Sloan finds him in the back of the field, Harvey Norman replay. Victor Radley scores. Yeah, I think a lot of times we underestimate the run of Jared Rira Hargraves back on the inside, just shorten the defensive line up. Walker with the grubber kick in and behind, perfectly weighted. Gee, he's good at it. Plenty of try assists this season already. That's his 19th. But the run from Jared under the post, he picked out the fullback Sloan and just made a beeline for him straight away. Four involved in the tackle. He's on the long right hand side. Keary, out the back for Walker. Radley, Tedesco, Young, and he has to beat the tackle, and he does. Dominic Young had to defend three or four sets. I reckon Tedesco could have scored himself here. Would have sliced straight in between. Opts to pass the ball on the outside to Young. Young goes over the strike. It's his 11th try of the season. What a finisher he is. Great at the back end of the field, but he can finish at the other end. Been a poor period of time for the Dragons because they had st six straight sets of six, trying to score with the man advantage. The Roosters defended well. They get the ball down the other end. That way, as Little made the tackle, Keary, his Collins, working his way in. The big front rower just would not be denied. Somehow gets himself over. Just to switching the point of attack there. The ball back on the inside. Straight through the middle. Look at Collins lining up here. Look on the outside. Play back on the inside. Couldn't close the gate there, Little. Then the legs start moving. Backwards. Stretches out and slams the football down. That's a great hit back. It's a great finish from a front rower. But this is where the improvement from Tyrell Sloan's game needs to come from defensive. And got one more left from Watson. Here's Walker kicking Crichton! Crichton banks points off the brilliant kicking again. Again, Tyrell Sloan not out of position a great deal. We only have to be slightly out with the skills of Sam Walker. Steps off the left, back off to the right foot, kicks across his body, and Angus Crichton, who has done so many reps with Sam Walker's kicking game through training, recognises that he's halfback. When he does that, he normally kicks across the body. And Angus Crichton's been powerful today, but that's a good reward for a tough game today from Angus. He fired a ball, which hit Jack DeBellin square between the eyes. Now to Desco, in behind everybody. It's a race. Kaufman trying to get to him. Tedesco runs away. Straight through, they can't make the tackle, and away he goes. Look, it's the old Falcon assist there from the Dragons. The pass back inside. Watson, delayed pass, Kiri, good hands. Tedesco, oh. Jennings for Tupo. Simple oh. stuff on this left-hand side of the field. The ball took an age to get out there. The left-hand side, watch this pass. This is experience. Beautiful stuff there from Jennings, straight on. And you bring the house down if you could score here. And Kiri puts it back on the inside. Tedesco keeps him alive. Tupanua stepping his way in. There's one to celebrate with. You've got to think this game is in the wings to start of the second half. It's been a dominant performance at the back end here. Just the power. And Very deep left set here. And it goes that way, the halves combining, the balloon pass out for Tupo, and Daniel Tupo scores. Roosters are in. They're able to crack this left-hand side. Come out to the left, out the back to Kiri. Angus Crichton does such a great job and is in such white-hot form. Just holds up the defensive line. And at different times throughout the season, the right-hand right side of the Melbourne Storm have been exposed and no one likes scoring tries more against the Storm than Tupo. That's his 11th try against the Melbourne Storm. And that, that's a sublime pass. Thing of beauty in slow motion, especially on 4K. Hello to everyone watching on Ultra HD. And uh, he was desperate for the ball out there. They had numbers. It goes right again.
Walker out for Radley. Oh, lovely pass, and Young is in. They're not done yet, the Roosters. They need three scores. This is great. This is really nice work here from Victor Radley. Plenty of shape. Tedesco. There's Walker. Feeding it on to Tedesco as another gap opens up with Tedesco. Brooks trying to hold on to Tedesco with the flick to Slowly E. Absolutely magnificent from the Roosters. Tedesco to Swali E. Swali E is getting the ball and that opens up a little bit of space for James Tedesco. He's run 15 metres with Brooks hanging on to him and then pops a pass out as we watch it for the Harvey Norman replay. What a great job, a show of strength there from James Tedesco to hold Luke Brooks at bay, stay on his feet and get the pass away. Did that pass go backwards though? Well, as we watch on, this is some start by James Tedesco. Three runs, two line breaks and had a try assist as well. That angle's not going to help us, but you can see why Greg Alexander is questioning whether that was well, when he popped a it sideways up. pass. For Sam Walker. And another line break threatens and he gets right away here. And now he's got Tedesco looming in. Tedesco! Goodbye! Tedesco scores! And realises that well, there was a line there. There was a line there. There was no problem with the line. But Sam Walker out of dummy half beats Josh Alloy A. And also gets around Jake Simpkin and then had the speed to get in behind the line. Watch Alloy A misses. Jake Simpkin caught in no man's land. Can't make a play. The footwork from Sam Walker was just too good and looming up on the inside. The man that's had well, not many starts to the game. Then James Tedesco bounces off that great balance there from Sam Walker. Fends away from Corey Waddell. There's Jake Simpkin clutching at the back of Sam Walker. He can't get him. This is ominous. Three line breaks in the first eight minutes as Tedesco strolls over. Watson was on his inside. Goes outside. Oh, 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 beautiful oh, ball, Duke. Oh, oh, as now it's Cherry Evans and Turpo. Back inside it comes and Kiri. He gets over the line. It's, but it's not just experience, it's talent. The ball was beautiful out to Daniel Tupo. Too much speed for Cherry Evans. Gets around him. Luke Kiri in support. When they score their third try, front on, it will look fantastic. The hands from Tedesco and then from Michael Jennings, brilliant. Tupo just loping down that left touch line, finds Kiri, stumbles. But there was no one around him. There was no manly player to get a hand onto him and drag him back into the field of play before he slides across. Just bats Cherry Evans away. And it was effective. Kiri on for Walker on the angle. Here comes Raleigh. He gets inside Ben Trebojevic. Brooks coming on the inside again. The flick pass there. That should be a live ball. Picked up by Young and it's a try. Raleigh just getting on the outside of Ben Trebojevic. Luke Brooks trying to do the job. Sam Walker nicely placed Raleigh. Big step on the inside. Brooks again just throws it to the ground. There's a fair bit of luck involved in that one. Not only did he get to his foot to it after Swali, he just threw it at the ground. He didn't, I don't think he meant to kick that. It just struck him on the leg. Trebojevic comes through, can't scoop it up. Sitting there for Dom Young, who scores their four. We, we have seen this version of the Roosters a few times this year. Anzac Day, probably the most famous. It was a 15-minute patch against the Warriors a few weeks ago. They, they were playing exactly like this and piling on the points. Bumping off Chen Kung Tong. And will finally rested to the ground. Just outside the tent, Tedesco, a kick. Pinballing away, Swaliti coming through. So is Radley. It's another rebound try. Look what Brooks had stuck the leg out here. Yeah, Brooks did. He almost back heeled the ball. Yeah, what a chance. First in a long, long time. Walker, we've seen this before. The kick, Tupo, inside the Jennings. Absolutely sensational. Late call there to Swali'i. Across to Daniel Tupo. They had a player out there. That was Carl Lawton, who was just...